how to select visual effects settings that adjust Windows 11 for best performance. As you can see guys, I'm currently on my desktop and before I take you through the process of adjusting Windows 11 for best performance, I just want to show you the appearance of Windows prior to making that adjustment. I'll be using an images thumbnail as an example of Windows 11's appearance prior to adjusting for the best performance. As you can see guys, I have two thumbnails on my desktop, both are PNG images. As you can see, prior to the best performance adjustment you can see the thumbnails of these two images. You can see the images are very similar. If I hover over the top image, you can see the current Windows 11 font is very clear and not grainy. Great, now that we have established the appearance of these two thumbnails and the Windows 11 fonts clarity when hovered over, I can now begin taking you through the process of selecting the visual effects settings that are just Windows 11 for best performance. The first thing we need to do is navigate to the bottom left hand corner of our taskbar to the Windows Start icon and right click on it. Once you've done that guys, you'll be greeted with a list of options. The option that we're looking for guys is an option called System. Once you've found system, simply left click on it. You'll now be in your system settings. Once here, to the right hand side, look for where it says device specifications. Then underneath, look for where it says related links. To the right hand side of related links, look for an option called advanced system settings. Once you've found advanced system settings, simply left click on it. A small window will then open, called system properties. By default, you'll be in the advanced tab. Once you're in this tab, look for where it says performance and underneath that window says visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage and virtual memory. And underneath that, you'll see a button called settings. Left click on this settings button in the performance section. Once you've done that guys, you'll be greeted with another window called performance options. As you can see guys, we're currently in the visual effects tab. Underneath Windows says, select the setting that you want to use for the appearance and performance of Windows on this computer. As you can see guys, currently the visual effects setting selected is let Windows choose what's best for my computer. And if we look to the box at the very bottom, you can see all the settings are selected bar 2 which are save taskbar thumbnail previews and show shadows under mouse pointer. Underneath let windows choose what's best for my computer you also have three other options. One option is adjust for best appearance. Underneath that is adjust for best performance and finally custom where you can customize the options and select them individually. For today's video guys, we're going to be selecting the visual effects settings that adjust Windows 11 for best performance. So we're going to be selecting the option adjust for best performance by simply left clicking on the circle right next to it. And as you can see guys, in the box below, all the settings that were previously checkmarked have been deselected. Previously, the only two options that were unchecked was save taskbar thumbnail previews and show shadows under mouse pointer. Now everything has been unchecked. The settings which have been de-checkmarked are as follows. Animate controls and elements inside windows. Animate windows when minimizing and maximizing. Animations in the taskbar. Enable peak. Fade or slide menus into view. Fade or slide tooltips into view. Fade out menu items after clicking. Save taskbar thumbnail previews. Show shadows under mouse pointer. Show shadows under windows. Show thumbnails instead of icons. Show translucent selection rectangle. Show window contents while dragging. Slide open combo boxes. Smooth edges of screen fonts. Smooth scroll list boxes. Use drop shadows for icon labels on the desktop have all been unchecked and deselected. Once you've selected adjust for best performance, navigate to the very bottom of performance options and left click on apply to make the adjustment for best performance on your Windows 11 computer and then left click on OK. Once you've done that guys, you can close out of the system priorities window here by left clicking on the X and then close out of the system settings by navigating to the top right hand corner and also left clicking on the X to close. Once you've done that guys, you'll be back on your desktop. And as you can see guys, if we look again to our image thumbnails, you can see it is no longer showing a thumbnail image preview of the images. This time, the thumbnails for our images are in fact identical 
and they are Windows image icons instead of individual image preview icons as they were before. Also, if you look at Windows 11's font in general, for example, if I was to hover over the first image thumbnail like I did previously, you can see that Windows font in general is more grainy and more unclear than it previously was prior to making the adjustment for best performance. These are some of the sacrifices that you must make the compromise for when you are adjusting Windows 11 for best performance. You in fact compromise on the appearance of Windows. All right guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to select visual effects settings that adjust Windows 11 for best performance. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video.